Last time with Rob and Sherry, Rob and his friend Todd attempt to pressure clean the black tank, hoping to fix the black tank release handle. In this episode, we have to change the black tank handle valve, and it's not a pretty sight. Welcome to RV Travel Buddy. Well, the last video you saw us doing uh, a black tank enema, uh, where we pressure washed the black tank, and uh, that did not fix my other problem, which is my black tank valve will not close all the way, and so it leaks, and that's not acceptable. So uh, later tonight, and probably tomorrow too, uh, the gentleman who did the pressure washing with us is also going to do the repair of the black tank valve. So um, I'm going to talk about this a minute, and that's actually their rig, their rig over there. I have to be careful of the sun here a little bit. So what we're going to do is down here uh, where the black tank is. So where this valve is, is a shaft and it goes up underneath the RV and you can't see it but there's a floor panel uh, that needs to be cut out and we're not going to take the whole panel off and the bottom of the RV would be uh, pretty hard to do. So we're going to actually cut a hole into the panel and he's got a technique where he can cut and we have access to that black valve so we can replace it. And then uh, when we close it, he's got a way of putting that back in place and sealing it. Uh, so what's nice about it is we'd have access to that area again if something ever happened in the future. So that's the plan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's the story and we're sticking to it. So bear with us as we go through replacing a black tank valve on a Montana this is a 2013 3625 RE, and uh, we'll see how it goes. I sh we really got to get this fixed because I can't have this thing leaking and I can't close it all the way. So uh, that's the that's the goal on this show. One more thing I want to remind people is because he's going to be working on that and probably have to take the valve out. Uh, our tanks are very clean, but it's been used in the last couple of days since we did the last video. So I'm doing a courtesy flushing the tank and trying to get it as clean as possible to make the project go uh, as smooth as possible. I don't wish any uh, <laughs> ickiness on anyone. <laughs> so anyway, uh, so I'm going to be doing a couple of flush outs before we begin. So I keep thinking of things I want to show you and so here's another one. At my um, spigot here, uh, most people, if they don't know this, we always put a Y connector and don't get a cheap one because they'll break but uh, this is the one that goes to my black tank and I actually use a black hose and I told you I use this the scrunchy hoses here and uh, I really like them because uh, uh, yeah they kind of leak a little and they're not very good but it's for a black tank anyway so for me to turn on the water all I have to do is turn the little valve you'll see the thing come alive <laughs> it looks like a big snake and uh, it's ready to start filling up my tank. So most RVs nowadays, some of the uh, smaller ones don't have it, but have a place where this black hose goes into that will blow water into the tank and allow us to flush it uh, several times. So this is a 50 gallon tank on here and so it takes a little while to fill up. So I'm not going to go through the whole process with you. Other than the fact we're going to flush it once or twice just the clean it out again so it's easier to work on and a little more clean so that's how we do it okay so here we are again <laughs> messing around with the black tank and I got Todd hello Todd <laughs> underneath our so it looks like we might be able to drop the panel without cutting it but we'll see um, it was a little easier than we thought but I thought I'd bring the camera under there so you could kind of see what we're doing so <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> this is a, a funny setup because our black tank, I'll put a little light on it, one goes to the black tank and that's why we had a hard time with the snake yesterday and another 90 degree goes to the gray tank and the valve is right here and it's got a cable that pushes it in, mechanical device um that right there and so it's this valve here 
that we want to replace and luckily he actually has a three inch valve that will fit that. So today I made it my responsibility to flush this tank as much as we can and left it open so we're praying <laughs> yeah. that yeah. when we break this open right here that uh, it's you know not too juicy yeah be prepared for a little bit of product still to come out <laughs> yeah. so that's a, that's the lower part of the black tank there and it looks like we're a little bit above it but um maybe an inch <laughs> inch and a half so this could be risque yeah it might be uh, get a little stinky under here so yeah so that's what we're doing to get this black tank uh it's the cable assembly looks okay yeah so it's most likely the valve is bad so we're gonna go after it here we go okay here we are we actually dropped the whole panel and uh wasn't too bad and it's I always think if you have somebody to doing this and you, they're friendly enough to let you watch, it's very educational and uh, it gives you an idea to figure out how your RV works. Uh, now that he's opened it up, I'm actually more confused than ever because I've never <laughs> seen so many darn wires. He says mostly it's sensors and stuff. But uh, yeah, so this is the baby we're working on right here. I'm trying to get that valve to work again because we cannot have a leaky tank bad news so for our next step as you saw that we found a tank and we were tapping on it and there's definitely liquid in it still so we're going to drop the nose of the rv down so we don't get any drainage that we don't want so we're going to take the time to run the hydraulics drop the nose down and that will save from making a biohazard mess so stay tuned. Let's turn on the power here. Luckily, Montana's use hydraulic. It'll just take a second, kind of, <laughs> to get this to work. We're going to lift the back two legs up, or levelers, and then drop the nose. So it goes. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's such a nice stop. So that was successful. So we got the nose all the way down. And uh, the only bad part about that is it kind of takes a little bit of the headway headroom out of there when he's working on it but it sure beats getting poured on with black water so yeah it's starting to loosen up oh yeah that's gonna be a gusher definitely uh mostly water yeah I, mean, I did do a good so at this point, we're wondering why we're we getting so much water when I drained the tank. And it turns out, <laughs> we actually disconnected the wrong tank. This was the gray tank, and it still had gray water in it. So what you see spilling is gray water. That is the right tank, right? Uh-huh. That's the black tank? Yeah. For sure? Because it's like gray water. Yeah, we were both kind of mystified of where all this water was coming from. And uh, we played with some levers and stuff. And eventually we figured out that the valve we wanted to change is on the other side of the RV. So, we showed you earlier that it was two 90 degrees, one going to the black tank, one going to the gray tank. So we identified the wrong tank. But, so we pulled it. And of course I didn't gra drain the gray tank and it was semi-full. We're getting a lot of liquid and going, I think we're pulling the wrong valve. And that's what happened. But we have to pull both of them anyway because if you're going to release or pull back on those, on that pipe, they're both attached because the two 90 degrees. One goes to the black tank, one goes to the gray tank, or vice versa. So we're actually pulling both valves. Um, <laughs> and so we did get a lot of water in the ground, but luckily it was gray water and so we shouldn't get anything out of the black tank so live and learn well we're over here on the other side of the rig and Todd's under there loosening the black tank and lesson learned about how it was plumbed but at the same time uh, physically both of them would have had to be detached just to be able to maneuver the pipe so lesson can learned can you get a shot of this? yeah that's stuck and that's why your black's not closing See that? Yeah. So if we clean that out, you can actually uh, go over and test your black tank. Yeah. 
we'll get that out of there. Looks like it's wedged down into the gasket. We may not have to replace it. Sweet. We got debris in the in the valve. <laughs> I'm yeah, just trying to get a shot. It's not a pretty thing. It's this but, big uh, chunk of whatever right here. What happens is it gets when it closes, if it's in the way at the time that you close the valve, it gets pushed down and wedged between these two rubber gaskets, and you actually have to dig it out. So uh, I'm going to do that in a minute, but yeah, we're not going to show that. <laughs> <laughs> so I got this, I got that out of there. Uh -huh. Here, I'll show you. You can actually see the top part of that white valve right here where my thumb's at. And that's the debris that was in there that got wedged in. I actually had to remove this rubber seal that was there. So I'm going to have Rob go ahead and go over and uh, close this valve. Um, if you want to walk over there, I'll show him how it, how it closes and make sure it closes all the way. We shouldn't have a problem at this point. So this looks like hopefully it'll be... And there you go. It closes all the way down, opens all the way up. So yeah, that's all it was. So we're going to put it back together now. You can see the other side. We got a pretty good angle here without getting the camera wet. You can see it dripping on the other side there. That's uh, unfortunately how this is plumbed together as Rob mentioned. You got two of the same, um, you got the black and the gray tank that are kind of interlinked of course because it all goes to the same drain. So we're going to go ahead and put it back together now. So I just want to remind everybody, if you're having this done, especially if you're having a repair person do it, out of courtesy, Sherry and I tried our best to flush these tanks the best we could. And because we did, it actually hasn't been that bad as far as being messy. Um, of course, we had the gray tank drained, but that's gray water and it's not really considered biohazard. Anyway, so... <laughs> Todd has said over and over again how grateful he was for making this. I mean, he's seen some real nightmares. So if you're having this done or you're going to mess with your tanks, flush them, flush them, flush them, clean them out, do whatever you can. It won't be perfect, but at least be courteous enough for people that are working on your rig to uh, work on it and let them focus on the parts and the fix and not the biohazard. So anyway, just a little note I wanted to pass on to people. Both uh, valves were put back together. All the seals look real good. Uh, we did some tests to make sure the levers are working. And Todd's underneath here. I'm going to hand him the camera. And I'll hold it steady this time. Yep, and he's going to show you. Okay, so you can see everything's back together. Both sides, both valves. Sun's setting on us here. Got a little bit of wind. But um, zip tied all the wires up in there. That's a lot of the uh, communication cables and uh, sensor cables. So... It's all back together and the valves are working properly again, so we're in good shape. So we're happy campers. So anyway, <laughs> we can literally do good flushes now. <laughs> Here I'm Rob Scribner from RV Travel Buddy. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Please like our videos and share us. Have a good day. Bye now. Special thanks to Todd Burnett of Diversified RV Repair LLC. Thank you for watching our videos. Please take the time to subscribe and consider being a Patreon supporter. There is many more adventures and some big surprises coming in the future with your help. Thanks again.